Big news. Medicare expands CGM coverage for people with type 2 diabetes. Hey there folks, do you find the constant finger sticks that come with traditional glucose monitoring systems to be a hassle? Well, have I got some exciting news for you? If you are like me and interested in continuous glucose monitoring systems like the Freestyle Libre or Dexcom, then you will be thrilled to hear that Medicare has made some changes to their rules. That's right, Medicare has shown some mercy finally and is now allowing for continuous glucose monitoring devices that do not require finger sticks for people who are not necessarily on four insulin shots a day. That was the rule, so you had to be on four insulin shots a day in order to deserve these Freestyle Libre or Dexcom. Now, this new ruling is a game changer for many who rely on these types of systems and I couldn't be more excited to share this news with all of you. Stick around to hear all these new juicy information. Medicare added coverage for continuous glucose monitoring systems for people with type 2 diabetes who are taking any insulin, any insulin, and for people who aren't even on insulin but have a history of low blood sugar. Look, most of you have low blood sugar, right? So most of you will qualify, yay! This was the greatest, largest increase in CGM coverage. This week, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, we call them CMS, updated and increased the policy on their CGM coverage. It now covers people with diabetes who use insulin and have traditional Medicare coverage. Not the Medicare Advantage, unfortunately, but traditional Medicare coverage works. And some people who don't use insulin but have a history of like this problematic hypoglycemia or low blood sugars. About 2 million people are thought to be affected by this new policy. It's probably even more. But more specifically, this means that millions more Medicare members will be able to use the Abbott's Freestyle Libre 2 system and Freestyle Libre 14 day system, as well as the XCOM G6 system. Not sure about the Libre 3 and G7 yet. Abbott is actually trying to get the Medicare to cover their latest version of the Freestyle Libre 3, which does not have a reader, unfortunately. But it's pretty cool because you don't have to do any scanning with Freestyle Libre 3 if you have not heard of that one. But millions of people with type 2 diabetes who use basal insulin like Tojeo, Nalantis, Levimir, what else, Tercebo, right? Now they will be eligible, even if they use insulin one time a day, they will be eligible for CGM coverage, either through Medicare or private insurers who are likely to follow, hopefully, the CMS decision. A good thing is, about this is that the primary care providers will probably learn more about the CGM since most people with type 2 diabetes who use basal insulin without bolus insulins, which is like only one time a day instead of four times a day, still have to do many finger sticks during the day, right? They still do. They still want to stay on top of it. I personally myself hope that primary care doctors will start prescribing and becoming on board with these continuous glucose monitoring systems because CGM is getting smaller. They are really tinier and tinier every time they come up with something new. I am really glad that more people can actually use it. It is clear that, you know, the continuous glucose monitoring helps people reach their target glucose levels, improve their quality of life, and it becomes the best teacher, right? So you eat something, you see how your blood sugars are reacting, you can literally watch it like a movie. What else can you ask for? It really teaches you how to behave around the food. This is a big win for people with diabetes, ladies and gentlemen. Advocates all over the country, including me, we are excited about this final decision, which was supposed to come out later this year, but it came early. Well, good. Some people are working. If you are looking to get a CGM prescribed by your doctor, this is how you do it. First 
it may seem a little complicated, but the process is actually quite straightforward once your doctor knows how to do it. First, ask your doctor to prescribe the CGM for you. Because if you don't, sometimes they will not even think about it. Typically, they will need to use a durable medical equipment company. Uh, it's a long name. You can call it DME companies. To get you all set up. Now, don't worry if you are unfamiliar with the process. The, uh, these companies will contact you to confirm the order and ask you a few quick questions to confirm that you are who you are and you are getting the device for the right reasons. It is important to be aware that the companies might be calling you from an unknown number and those companies keep complaining to us that the patients don't pick up their phones. <laughs> so make sure you keep an eye out on these calls. With these steps complete, you will be on your way to utilizing your CGM and managing your diabetes health like a champ. For those who are new to continuous glucose monitors, it is also important to note that they won't always match up with your fingers to glucose numbers, if that's what you're expecting. Well, that's because CGMs are measuring your tissue glucose, not your blood glucose. It is also important to keep in mind that during sleep or periods of compression on the device, when you're lying on it, for example, some low values may be falsely recorded. If you do see very high or very low numbers, be sure to double check with a finger stick reading to confirm those findings. Now, despite these factors, CGMs are still incredibly helpful tools for understanding the trends in your glucose numbers, keeping a regular eye on your levels with a CGM definitely will help you better to stay informed and on track with your overall health goals. Well, thank you for taking time to watch our channel. We appreciate it. We hope that you may have found some information and tips we have provided helpful today. And if you want to learn more, be sure to check out the hundreds of hundreds of hundreds of other videos we made available for you. Our channel at SugarMD is dedicated to providing valuable information and we are always adding new content. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and like our videos to stay up to date with all the latest information and tips. We appreciate your support and we really look forward to continuing to bring you more informative content. Thank you for joining us on this journey and I will see you in the next video. Hey guys, I hope you are enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.